as you know we are committed to bringing you the best if this is your first time i want you to subscribe let me know what you think by commenting below all right let's start by setting our size so choose inches here the width 11.5 and also the height 14.5 let's go ahead and create right click on the shape tool and choose rectangle tool that is the first one and let's draw our rectangle let the shape covers the entire document now come to the properties you will see the color tab click on it and click on the color panel and type this code right here after that click ok now take the rectangle tool again and let's draw another rectangle let's also change the color the same way by using this code anyway don't forget to subscribe okay right click on the shape tool again and this time let's choose ellipse tool draw the shape at the upper left right here and then change the color to white Press Ctrl J or Command J to duplicate it. Select the layer below, come to the properties. Now click on the color tab and let's turn the fill color off. Okay, so come to the outline color and let's change the color by using this code. Let's increase the outline from 1 pixel to 14 pixels. Okay, after this, use the arrow keys to move the shape to the left and also downwards a little. Now it's time for you to import the photo of the deceased. Drag and drop the photo onto the white ship. After that, come to the layer, right click on the photo and then choose Create Clipping Mask. Then move your photo a bit to make sure it is positioned very well. Okay, now take the ellipse tool and let's add a small shape at the bottom of the photo. Make sure to hold down the shift key as you draw your shape for a perfect circle. And that is where we are going to put the edge. Alright, now select your shape under the layer, come to the layer style and choose gradient overlay now click on the gradient bar and click on the face handle 
then the color and then use this code after that click ok now come to the middle press the handle then the color and use this code then the last handle the color and also this code after that click ok ok so come to the properties and click on the outline let's give it a solid color that is black and then let's increase the outline weight to 8.5 pixels it is time for you to add your text so come right here and then let's pick the text tool then click right here in the circle and let's put the age of the person right here Let's change the font to Callisto Empty. And the size to 48. And the color, let's take a sample color from the background. So click here to sample the color and use. Okay. Now the interval, let's use negative 50. Hold down the Alt key and then use your mouse to drag the edge to duplicate it. After that, double click and type in yes. Alright, this is the font we are using. Okay, pick the text tool again. So type forever mix, obituary, gone too soon, whatever that you want to write. And let's use the settings. The size 75 and then the interval 60. For the color of the test, let's use this code. Let's keep adding the information with the same font name but the size here is 14 and also the interval between the lines 12 and the color is white let's add the name of the person
Okay, now come to the layer, click on the name and come to the layer style and choose gradient overlay. Okay, this time you will see the same gradient you set for the ellipse tool where we put the edge. So just click OK. And let's align the names so they can appear nice. Pick the test tool again and let's keep on adding the things you want to add to the name. So here we have aka. The rest is all about the information you are going to add. So keep on adding them. For this one, take a sample color from here and click OK. Press down the Alt key and then drag to copy. Double click edit and keep on adding our test or information so we have the venue the time the location this is where we are going to put them So now the major part of the work is done. Pick the rectangle tool and let's divide this place into two. Come to the color tab and change the color to white. And we are going to put the rest of the information here. So we are using the same font name, the font size, and also the interval. For the test color, come to the color tab and then let's use this code.
So the information write some on the left and also some on the right. And finally, let's write all sympathizers are cordially invited as we do always. And also ensure that all COVID-19 protocols are adhered to. Double click to highlight and then select the text below and let's change the color by taking a sample from here. So you can save your project at this moment. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment because I want to know what you think about this video. Shalom to you. Stay creative. Bye bye.